Hey Gemini, welcome back to the list Illuminator for your Twin Flame update. Let's see what's going on between you and your Twin Flame. What are the messages for Gemini, Sun, Moon and Rising please? Starting off with the masculine energy. We have the Five of Wands wanting to come through in the reverse. Then we have the Five of Swords. The Three of Cups reversed, a, a lot of ego here, a lot of ego, too many cards. And then we have the Eight of Swords reversed, Tower as well at the bottom of the deck. Um, yeah, it's like this person is kind of like trying to avoid getting into conflict, but they're still holding on. Sorry, I forgot the microphone. This is so much better, right? Uh, so yeah, your person is still holding on, kind of like a, having a grudge here. Uh, there is a lot of triggering going on, like you've really triggered this person in order for them to grow. However, they're not willing to see that yet. So they're trying to kind of like protect themselves still or defend themselves as in whatever is going on, it's not their fault. Uh, and they're not trying to realize the how do I say this? They're, they're not realizing what they need to change within themselves. They're just running away from it. This is a very, uh, you know, runner and chaser type of energy that I am seeing. Three of cups in the reverse as well, like trying to isolate themselves, not trying to um, see you because they feel triggered every time they see you. You, you really remind them of all their, kind of like the, all their mistakes or all the things that are, um, you know, bringing them a lack of confidence here. They question a lot of things like internally in their headspace. They're constantly confused. However, they're not searching it inside themselves. They're searching it outside themselves, right? The five of swords is kind of like uh, bickering and fighting or kind of could be even in this case, a little bit narcissistic as in like, it's always the other person's fault. It's never their fault. Uh, and with the tower here as well in the reverse, it's definitely saying that this person does not see their own red flags at this point. They're not realizing the things that are not good for them. Perhaps you're just telling them like, okay, this is not the best way, or maybe they, there is some type of addiction here. Maybe they're party too much. They hang out with um, the wrong people could also be the case and they allow a lot of drama to be attracted to them. So this person is definitely not quite clear on who they are in, as an individual in order to stand stronger on their boundaries. Because I do feel like there is a lot of third party energies trying to kind of like feed them with a lot of negativity in regards to the situation or in regards to you could also definitely be, but there are definitely too many people here involved trying to kind of like um, fire this person up against you is what I'm picking up on, really. But they will come to the realization, I mean, karma is a biatch, right? Like karma is a biatch. And that eight of swords in the reverse is like them coming to the realization, like, okay, I went too far. This is a situation where I went a little bit too far. How about you? The moon. So your response to this is like, keeping yourself closed off, not revealing too much. You're keeping a lot of your emotions hidden and even like a little bit secretive because you don't want to give them that feeling of like, okay, you got me. So you're, you're definitely trying to mirror their energy. King of Wands, see, you're trying to be responsible here. You're really working on your goals. King of Wands is a very leadership type of individual, really goes after their desires, uh, very masculine, action-oriented, very confident energy, and you're not trying to kind of like expose all the things that you are doing. So not on social media, you're not trying to brag about things, you're just doing you. You're walking in your own shoe, like, not what, uh, obviously you're walking in your own shoes. Don't try to walk in someone else's shoes unless you want to have compassion, right? But you just walk your talk, Gemini. You walk your talk 
And we can say the same about this person. Emotionally, you have definitely withdrawn your energy. The moon crowning the queen of cups in the reverse is like deep down inside, you are a little bit heartbroken or you do feel, you know, as if you're almost falling out of love type of energy. That's for me, the queen of cups. But you do need to be a little bit more in touch with your uh, with your emotional side. All right. And and I feel like, you know, it's it's very normal for you to behave like this because of how this person is uh, behaving. Uh, so you, I do feel like you don't feel truly loved by this individual or respected. Um, and it's, it's, it's hard for you to have some sort of compassion towards them, right? Understanding um, that emotional bond, you feel like it's very hard to get in touch with them because they're not in touch with themselves right now. Yeah, and you're, you stop giving here. Six of Pentacles reversed. You feel like things are quite out of balance, as if you've given already. You, you took a lot of initiative here, right, with this King of Wands. And that's like a very initiative taker. Um, someone that tries to lead the relationship, like makes the planning or asks out for a date or a dinner or to talk. And then you feel like empty handed. You feel like you've done all the work. You took all the actions. You were very much in your masculine energy. Uh, however, emotionally, you did not get met here. And that's why you're, you're removing yourself and you, um, you're not feeding this situation. Okay, high priestess in the reverse at the bottom of the deck. Let's see what the overall energies are between the both of you. Five of Cups reversed. Nine of Pentacles. Whoa, Tower. The Hangman. Very interesting Major Arcana's coming through. Nice. Okay, Justice. And then the Knight of Swords. Bottom of the deck is the Ten of Swords. So some type of betrayal is still lingering on here. Someone was not loyal or there was some type of deception here. And I feel like it's really coming from your person's energy. And you, your energy is kind of like the outcome of their behavior. And it looks like eventually where you both, both of you are going towards is kind of like overcoming this sadness, overcoming this um, regretful action or energy from the past, breaking free of that, standing more in your power. Uh, I feel like for your person, this is saying like if there were multiple people involved trying to gaslight your person in any type of way, putting some drama, they are going to be detaching themselves from this energy, you are also going to be detaching yourself from your person in order to not get influenced or affected that much anymore. And the tower is, again, on their side, also coming through. This is something that they have been trying to avoid personally. However, the tower is saying that, that you know, whatever is not working in their life is going to come to an abrupt end. It's a huge, ma huge, massive shift that is going to be occurring here that is going to make them realize a lot of things. So even if there is some type of um, silence or a break between the both of you, it is for the higher good. This is like them needing to surrender to the divine, them needing to realize um, what, what they did wrong here with the tower or both of you, right? Like both of you could have done some wrongs in this, in this uh, situation and this is going to come to an end very abruptly and it's going to take time to recover from it. Pisces energy here hangman is very healing energy um, and it could be around the time that Saturn moves into Pisces where this big karma is about to play out especially for your person that is going to make them understand and realize things from a higher perspective and come to some type of realization that they need to surrender 
in order to heal. Now I get, I do get like, it could be some alcohol issue as well, or going out or just too much in that scene and not really taking care of the basics, not really taking care of their personal growth and, and um, changes. And this tower is going to be yeah, it's going to be very felt and it is also something that is needed for them to open up their eyes. It's like the epiphany that is about to happen. This is the grant of awakening and it's not, it's like the spiritual awakening with this tower and the hanged man. But when it comes with the tower, it's like, it's not like the best. It's like you escape something and things could have gone so much worse and you realize like, okay, I need to really get myself together. You know, that's the type of energy. And that's karma. You see, I, I told you about karma and we got the justice, which is all about uh, karmic cycles, balancing things, making sure that you invest in the right, and uh, in the right relationships. And that's, uh, this situation needs to happen for them to realize who is right and who is wrong. So that's something that's going to happen. Knight of Swords, so expect quick communication, fast communication. Um, there could be some drama going on or not. Yeah, I do feel like there is going to be a lot of arguments going back and forth due to this happening because it's going to be quite big as an event. All right, let's see. Look at that, the mirror, mirroring one another here. Know themselves, self-examination, seeing who you really are. And then we have beauty, grace, loveliness, integrity of form and spirit. And I feel like that's definitely for you. You have done all that you could with this King of Wands. It's a very positive energy saying that you took action, you took initiative and you stood in your integrity. And if you felt like, okay, now I need to protect my heart space. I need to close myself off, stop giving. That was a form of integrity because the other person did not truly respect you and therefore they did not deserve what you were given. And that's why you had to show them their karma, so to speak. So yeah, that's a... Um, interesting angel of communication for them communicate clearly don't be afraid to tell it like it is so that communication is going to come in it's going to be quite surprising you it's going to come out of the blue and you'll be just like okay what wait a minute um, so it could start with some type of accusation but then they just want to open up the conversation to get something off their chest so expect communication to come in from your person after this whole tower hit their life so to speak so that's what i have for you gemini i really hope that this was helpful and if it was make sure to drop a like to support the channel and i'll catch you guys in the next one ciao